What's going on guys? So before we start this video, I want to take a moment to support all of the people that have been affected by Hurricane Harvey down in Texas. And while I'd love to go there and help some people out, I just do not have the time to do that. So what I've gone ahead and done was donated some money to the American Red Cross. It's a great organization. It's one of the biggest charity foundations in the entire world and I encourage everybody to lend a helping hand. I provided a link in my description that will take you to the American Red Cross website where you can either donate by phone phone, mail, or online. If you want to donate online, like I said, it's very simple. Click the link I've provided for you, and then you select your donation amount or enter your own, and then you go down to the scroll down that says, I want to support, and you select Hurricane Harvey, and your entire donation will go to those people that are affected by Hurricane Harvey. I think at this time in America, where we have all this race-related stuff and all this crap news that's going on right now, we really need to come together as a nation and help others. Instead of sitting there and yelling at everybody else or calling people names or this and that. That isn't gonna help the situation at all. We have people that are literally dying, losing their homes, thousands and thousands of dollars gone because of a natural disaster. And I think we need to come together and help them. So like I said, I encourage all of you to help, whether it's a donation or if you're in the area, please donate some of your time. So anyways, thank you guys for supporting this great cause. Now let's get to the video. Hey guys. I'm tired. <laughs> We're both tired, yes. So we are on our way. Wow, it's really bright right now. The sun is directly in my face. We are about to pull into Cars and Coffee, uh, Lehigh Valley at the Steel Stacks in Bethlehem. And uh, it's their, it's their, I guess, the second to the last Cars and Coffee for the season. But uh, the actual last one is a, uh, all truck and SUV so we decided to go this time because it's the last cars and coffee that they're doing so you guys that have ever been to Steel Stacks Lehigh Valley you guys know how crazy this can get and uh, we're pulling in right now it's about quarter after seven in the morning and uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of cars already here so Shaking the bounce so hard, shaking the bounce so hard, shaking the bounce so hard, that stuff was hitting my legs. 
That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. As long as you didn't put in first gear, I'm happy. Go stand there, then, buddy. <laughs> You're standing in the wrong location. Yeah. <laughs> it was cold too. I was just bouncing right off the rabbit hole. This should just be like. <laughs> I, was I was going to, but it was cold. Oh. Yeah. It didn't blow up, so we're good. Okay, so I think I saw donuts. <laughs> what? For we're getting ready to leave here. Go get something to eat. Eat. And I've probably started my car up like four times now. I, know. I feel bad. I, I, I'm not that type of guy. People keep asking, but I, I, I can't deny it. So, All right, so let's we're gonna give it one last start up here and rev before we leave. When you start it up, you should put us all in the vlog. Well, that's yeah, actually. Gonna, gonna should I just get out of the car? Yeah, you might as well just get out. She's gonna get I out. I wanna be in the vlog. Oh, hush. I feel left out. Oh my god. All right, everybody. Everybody is now officially in the vlog. That's awesome. <laughs> this is All right, so we're gonna take a short break here for some mail time, open some packages, and a few letters here. We're gonna start with this one from an unknown sender because there's no return address. Thank you. Who could it be from? The invisible person. Or it's a person that doesn't want me to know their address. What do we got here? It's written in like hostage lettering. I took my unit patch and turned it into a cool design. Hope you like it. Also, I'm from the area. Maybe you will see it on other cars someday. Peace. Thank you, unknown sender, for your 717 patch thing. So, that's pretty cool. I'll have to keep my eyes out for these on the road, because you said you are local. Now we got one with the name on it here. CJ from New Jersey sent me a letter of some sort. So we're gonna open this up. What do we got here? It is in fact a letter, a very small letter. Let's see what it says here. Dear Nick, I really love the channel and all your vehicles. My dream car is to own a Camaro Z All One. I would like to know why you chose the color red for both Camaros and the Silverado. I got my Camaros red because it was my favorite color and I think that car looks the best in red. Not to mention when the 2013, well I should say when the 2012 Camaro ZL ones came out, that was basically when they first released the ZL One in the fifth gen model. It was, the red one that I have with the same wheel option that I used to have on the car, everything was the same. And that's what I wanted. When I sold on the cover of, it was either Motor Trend or one of the car magazines, Car and Driver, I don't know what it was, when Ed Welburn took it out for the first time in front of everybody and revealed the Camaro ZL1, that's what it was. So that's why I got it. And why did I get my other two vehicles uh, in red? Well, because I have a thing for the color red. So here we have another Crown Royal label. Let's see what it says on this one. I've got a few of these before. Some of them are pretty funny, so I'm always excited when I get one of these to see what they say. And it says, red cars to symbolize the blood of your enemies. <laughs> That's funny. It actually says that, look. That's a funny one. Thank you for to whoever sent me that. Now we've got a package, a little flat package here um, from I don't know who. Let's see what it is. Okay, what do we got here? License plate frames, it looks like. Oh wait, I kind of see it through here. This is, oh wow, look at that. That's pretty sick. It's like a carbon fiber plate, but it says uh, Guitar Begin ZL1 on the bottom there. There's another one in here too, it might be the same one, I'm, I'm assuming. Yes, they're both the same. Okay, so I will keep that one in the package, so I don't screw it up. But we've got, I guess, I guess one for, what are they, for my two ZL1s? Or is one for like the 2017 cars? From Jay Cunningham on YouTube. 
Okay, so thank you, Jay, um, for sending me this. This is really cool. I have a license plate frame on my 2013, but I do not have one on the 2017 or the Silverado. So that's good. Thank you. And last but not least, we've got another package from Supreme Suspensions, and it's the clickbait package. Supreme Suspensions exposed. What are they doing? We scared our moms again. We went 140 miles per hour in Mexico, in parentheses. Crazy X comma XXX wheel horsepower. I believe I did tell one of my videos that. I try not to do the whole clickbaiting thing for you guys. Uh, I do post very intriguing titles just kind of like to grab attention, but I will never post a title that has nothing to do with the video or lies about the video. I promise you that I will not I will not do that. If it has any sort of a clickbait title, it's definitely going to have something to do with the actual video. The thing about clickbait, and a lot of YouTubers do it, is because you are always constantly finding a way to get your videos out there. And with clickbait, and it sounds like such a harsh term, people throw it around all the time. Hey, this is clickbait, that's clickbait, I'm clickbait! It doesn't, it, it's not like that, you know? It's more on the lines of like intriguing titles or catchy titles. The whole point of making a YouTube video is literally to get people to click on it and watch it. You could have the best video in the world, be the best editor, be the best person behind the camera, it doesn't matter. If no one clicks on it, no one's gonna watch it. So I apologize to you guys if sometimes my titles are a little clickbaity, but it's all well and good, it's all in good fun, and I'm just trying to get as many views as possible and grow my channel. So, back to Supreme Suspensions, look at this. That's a pretty cool hat, I must say. I'm not really a hat guy, I'm not gonna lie, but this hat, is sick. Look at the embroidery. Supreme Suspensions there. It's embroidered. You can see that. Good old snapback hat. These things have come into, <clears throat> into style again. You know, it used to be like the rappers back in the day used to wear these snapbacks. Like that was it. And now guys are wearing them as like a style trend. So um, we'll see here. I don't know if I'm, I don't ever look good with hats, I don't know. I just do the hair thing. Hey Nick, here's some gear to go with the leveling kit. So Tim, Tim White of Supreme Suspensions, coming in with the win again. He sent me a lot of cool swag, some stickers here. Look at that, a bottle opener. And I believe this is a t-shirt. Supreme Suspen, uh, Supreme Suspension t-shirt. Say Supreme Suspensions five times fast. Bet you can't do it. Another t-shirt, I like this gray one, that's pretty sick. And what do we have here? Something. Oh, wait. Ooh, is this a poster of some sort? What the heck is this? Jesus. This is the biggest poster I've ever gotten from any company. Well, look at this thing. You can't even see me right now, but look at that. That's a pretty awesome design. It reminds me of like the old Russian style posters. Supreme Suspensions and I are going to be doing some work together here in the near future on the truck, so you guys will have to stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you for everything I got here. Thank you to all the people that sent me something. If you would like to, the P.O. Box information will be below in the description. So let's get back to the video. Alrighty. Quite a beating the last couple times I went to the track, you know, slowing down at nearly 150 miles an hour with only a short amount of distance to do it. Um, 
they're just <laughs> they're they're really bad. So I pretty much decided that I'm gonna do a shoot now, like I said in my previous video. Not to mention after this, the car is getting a 200 shot. So we're gonna up it from a 150 shot to a 200 shot, and that's gonna put us well over 150 miles an hour anyway. So I will be required to have a shoot at the track, or I will get kicked out like I have previously. And you guys all remember that video. So that's you, right? This, yeah, that's my car. Third pass, you're done. Too fast for the you need seatbelts, jacket. Too fast. Okay. Seatbelts, jacket, cage, Alrighty. bar, so, at least something. Apparently my car's too fast. Because they were like, hey, did you catch 315 and warn him? I was like, oh, uh, yeah, because otherwise oh, you'd only you? got because <laughs> yeah. you'd only got two passes. Yeah, right. And I was like, yeah, I told him. <laughs> well, thanks for the extra run. It's all good. So yeah, Cecil County Dragway where I go and other tracks in the area do take safety very seriously and they will kick you out if you do not have the proper safety equipment that aligns with the times that you run at the track or even the mile per hour. So that's pretty much why I have all this stuff, you know? Cage, five point harness, um, three layer fire suit, SFI rated shoes, SFI rated gloves, that the helmet, everything, you know, that all has to do with the fact that I'm running now mid to low nine second quarter mile times and hopefully with this 200 shot we're gonna run a very very low nine second quarter mile time and set a new world record for the fastest stock cubic inch Camaro ZL1 but anyways nobody really wants to see this boring drive so we'll skip it and here we are arriving at Coker chassis and restoration Look at that. The front of that 69 Camaro is just covering that hitch. That's pretty funny. Alrighty. What's up, man? How are you doing? How you doing? Good, good. I heard something coming up the road on my dad. Sounds good. That was me. <laughs> yeah, I commented on your uh, your hitch cover there. It's a, it's a nice addition. Bob, nice to meet you. Nick? Yep. So you are, you are the owner of the Coker Chassis, Coker chassis and chassis. Restoration, huh? Yep. Yep, we'll give you a quick tour and Alrighty. get you set up here. Looks like you got a lot of cars out here to restore. Oh. <laughs> They're all good ones though. Trans Amber money makers. We did a 77 that did $92,000. Wow. We got a little bit of everything here. Yeah. 69 Damn. Camaro, 58 Etzel, 68 Camaro, 69 Nova, 69 Roadrunner, 46 Dodge. Okay. The last project I was just doing was the headers. Yeah. What a treat. Oh, uh, so you, so you, Oh, Cut yeah. them and, oh, and yeah. yep. packed them in oh, and yeah. fitted them and what everything. What we do is buy a whole bunch of just U Benz, J Benz, yeah. 90s, and you design what you want. So you're finishing those panels, is that so yep. you restore all that and everything? Yeah, you yeah. restore and do drag stuff, you know. Yeah, you got a lot of work on your hands oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, this is a '69 twin turbo we're finishing up for a guy now. We built him a whole new chassis. We're painting the car for him, wired it, plumbed it. This is one the guy took off the wall two weeks ago. We're gonna fix it all wow. up for him. Just body damage or what? Or no, how much? No, no, move the front end over a little bit. Okay. Well, at least I know who to come to if I were going to a wall. <laughs> I mean, let's not, yeah, you let's know, not there, let's right? not go there, but. Yeah. <laughs> I need some of these seats eventually. Yeah. Yeah. And like all of our cages, you know, we try to keep everything nice and tight. Yep, yep. That's one thing that I really liked is like the cage in my car is extremely tight. Yep. You know. Yep. Comfortable. Oh yeah, comfortable, yeah. And the thing about it is, like the cage while John had it, you remember the other cage? Yeah. yeah. Garbage, yeah. I mean, you hate to knock somebody else's work. But yeah. This is where we do all of our body work. Another 69 oh, nice. Roadrunner we're okay, doing, cool. 72 Chevelle. I definitely have no shortage of work. I was gonna say, geez, you got at least two or three vehicles in every area, huh? Yeah. So we're gonna put a shoot on it. That's what we're gonna do. Are we doing, what brand did you decide? Did Simpson. you, we're gonna Simpson? Put Simpson, yep. Okay. Yep, yeah, we'll go to Simpson. Uh, it's custom mount anyway, so right. we'll do whatever we gotta do. Well, I'm impressed that he just drove up here, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right? It's impressive alone. So basically, the uh, the bracket for the shoot will come out right here, I'm assuming, right? Where the yep. bottom of the Correct. license plate yep. is, and then there'll be a tube that comes, and then the shoot will come up like this, yep. and yep. then the cable will go through here, right? Come in through here. Run up, follow your cage. Mm -hmm. up and then to the, I'll be to on that bracket. You, you're gonna. You said you'd make a custom yep, one, right? Yep, you, that's yep, what you do. Yep, okay. We'll make a custom billet bracket for on your roll cage, and we'll get it up here seven, eight inches, so it's in good so reach. It's in reach. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yep. yep. 
So you're gonna teach me how to pack a shoot? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, good, because uh, that's one thing I gotta learn. If somebody as simple as John can pack it, I was gonna say, he hey, it. he did something smart though. I must say, when he when he comes off uh, his pass, he goes around the turnoff lane, and unlike other guys who sit there and pack their shoot, he goes like this. He picks it up, throws it in the trunk, and slams it, and goes and packs it where he's parked, which makes complete sense, you'd think, right? That's probably from him pulling it on the street and having to get out of there <laughs> before anybody comes. That's yeah. probably where he learned that. That's probably it. But I feel like that's a good, uh, that's a smart yes. move on his yes. part. Very smart move. Yep. So yeah, this will be fun. Yep. I'm excited. Yep. We are too. All right, Bob. Well, the car's here, ready to get the shoot put on, ready for the, uh, the uh, Coker special, right? Yep. <laughs> ready to do it. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for it, obviously, and um, I think uh, I think it's going to be a good addition to the car. Definitely a, a needed addition, safety we'll say that. Safety help. first, right? Yep, safety first, safety first. I get a lot of flack about that. One accident? One, one that's, and that's what I say, oh, you know, one accident. If that roll cage, every penny that I spend on that roll cage, every penny I spend on the suit, the helmet, now the, sh the shoot, if I get one accident or almost a near accident and this shoot saves me from like hitting a wall or the roll cage saves me from rolling over and killing myself, every penny is worth it Absolutely. at that aspect. Absolutely. I don't care about the car. I don't care if the car is totaled. I don't want my life to be totaled. <laughs> you know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. So, and if you're hurt, you can't drive. Right? Exa exactly. Yeah. Yep. Then I won't be able to drive. Yep. So thank you. Thank you. For everything. Yep. And uh, take good care of her. We'll take care of her. We know it's your baby. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I will have all of Bob's info in the description. Please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And have a great day.